Welcome to Team Durham TV's Athlete of the Week, Megan Ellery. Megan graduated in June with a BA Sport degree and is now studying for a Masters in Management whilst pursuing a rugby career. Megan, you played netball for three years at Durham and captained the club in your third year. How did you enjoy the role? I really enjoyed it. I had a really great three years being part of the netball club and I thoroughly enjoyed being club captain. What did the role involve? Um, it's quite an intense role as I'm sure most club captains would testify to. Um, I was also first team captain during my second and third year so it was a lot of, a lot of admin and a lot of, sort of extra um, time given to the netball club but yeah, thoroughly enjoyable. So the transition to rugby, what made you decide to change? Um, a lot of people have asked me this. I'm, I spent a good three years playing netball and I've taken it seriously for since I was about 13 and I was just ready for a change. I think I'd taken netball as far as it was going to go for me. And um, there was a big Open Sevens trial in April that um, the RFU held and I just thought, why not? And it's worked out pretty well for me. How have you found adjusting from a non-contact sport like netball to the physical rough and tumble of playing rugby? <laughs> um, so far, I've mainly been playing sevens, which isn't quite as rough as fifteens, but obviously it's a bit of a shock to the system playing a contact sport. It is completely, drastically different to netball, but I'm really enjoying it. A lot has happened in a short time for you. Tell us about what's been going on since the transition to rugby and subsequent selection for England. <laughs> so since um, April when the open trial was, I got put into the England Development Sevens team and played a few tournaments for them and obviously had a great deal of learning to do about rugby, about the whole game and so I've been training really, really hard um, to learn as much as I can about the game. I played a few tournaments at England Development and then got chosen to represent Great Britain at the World University Games in Russia, which was incredible. And then, yeah, somehow I ended up in the England elite player squad for the coming season, which I'm so excited about. How did you find out that you'd been selected? I went to a trial at the end of August for the full England squad, and I got a call the following week when I was in Sainsbury's. Was, wow. I completely wasn't expecting it, and yeah, I think I'm still in shock over the whole thing, but... Total surprise. Complete surprise. What does your England training now involve? Uh, so, England camps uh, aren't that often, they're about every month or so, um, but I think I'm mainly going to be involved in the seven side of things, but um, I've also started playing for, in the Premiership for Darlington Marlin Park, so I'm currently training and playing with Durham and with Darlington, and uh, I've got a strength and conditioning programme being delivered to me at the EIS at Gateshead and obviously all my extra fitness and strength here, so it's been quite intense, a lot of getting used to, but enjoying it. What are you hoping to achieve with the rugby? Uh, so I think with Durham, I think our team goals for the season are going to be to win the Premiership. I think that could definitely be in our sights this year, and it'd be incredible to join the boys at Twickenham. Uh, individually, personally, I think to get a cap for England Sevens is... Um, would be the goal for this year. There's some really exciting tournaments on the IRB circuit this year in Brazil, China, Dubai, and just to go to one of them would be amazing. How are you going to manage to balance all your academic studies with training and playing commitments? I think it's going to be really challenging. I think I'm going to have to be incredibly organised, but throughout my undergraduate degree I've balanced a great deal of extracurricular things alongside um, academia, so I think providing I stay on top of things, I'll probably have to get up really early to train and be super organised with deadlines, but I definitely think it's doable. Brilliant. Thank you, Meg, and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much.